Cancer, getting ready to do your mid-month. This is for October, the end of October. The energies around that time. All right. Let's show you Cancer. death transition in this deck crossed by ace of coin seven of wands page of wands six of coin nine of cups six of cups the king of wands hmm. The Knight of Coin and the Five of Wands. All right, Five of Wands. I'm going to, um, I'm shuffling. I'm going to go ahead and put two more cards out with the Five of Wands. Ace of Wands. And the six of wands. You guys have a lot of wands this month, Cancer. And underneath the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to put that there. Actually, what I'll do is take it off, put it there, and put the deck aside. All right. Well, right off the bat, for some of you, you're going to um, start something that's going you're going to like it but other people um, around you may not think it's the best idea um okay so death in the center that's the beginning of the reading so i, I kind of feel this almost this feeling of being fed up you're tired of waiting um i know i've had some really good readings for you guys in the past and i know that there was new energy and good energy and i was mentioning in, i think scorpio's video that sometimes um, you know, the timing is just different. I know that I have watched readings and they're very accurate, but I was like a month or two behind. It took longer for it to, to manifest in my life or just different things. I know some people think, well, I manifest it because I saw it and then I created that. But um, I know that sometimes maybe some of you are tired of waiting. You're fed up. You're watching these readings and you think, okay, where is my new beginning or change and maybe you realize that there's something that you may need to change or do because what I'm seeing here is it looks like for some of you you're going to just pick up and you're going to do what you want to do and you're going to make some type of change or there's something that you've been wanting to do for a while now but it's not either socially you know quote acceptable or it's um other people around you are saying well that's not the you know that's not the best thing to do you should do it something else or so you have death or transition in the center of your reading. So, and it's crossed by, of course, this beautiful Ace of Coin card. So it's something tangible, something new, something, um, you know, of course, the obvious is a new job or a new, um, let's say, business venture, something you want to start. Can be other things such as um, a hobby or health news. I'm looking kind of for health where I get that in the spread, but... um anything like that something new the seven of wands in this deck shows him taking the wand and walking away you know not worrying what other people think or say not he's defending himself in a way where he's actually just going to move on and do what he wants to do and almost not even worry what other people think and the same with the five of wands in this deck also he's in his boat there's turbulent water here which is emotion could be from other people could be your own emotions but it's as if you decide, okay, heck with what people think. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to do what I want to do. Because your outcome, your clarifier is the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands, which are both beautiful cards. New passion, new adventure, idea, something that makes you happy with the Six of Wands. Um, maybe you start something and it takes off or it just it's clicking. You feel like I made a good decision. Um, that's kind of to me what the Six of Wands represents. It represents something internal where you do something or something happens and it really makes you feel good. Um, 
not necessarily other people know about it or sometimes they can but it's to me i always read it as something an action you've taken or change or something that's come into your life that you feel very happy about personally so you have this page of wands here which is a message or an idea an offering coming to you or even something you even think in your own mind and decide, okay, I'm going to take action with this. And in doing so, nine of cups here is you're very happy, wishes fulfilled. This definitely with the six of coin can be a money idea, money venture. I mean, it could be even for some of you getting a loan, getting some type of financial assistance in. So this, um, I'm looking at the cards all again all at once, kind of, because overall this is a very nice spread. To me, the spread speaks right off the top of my head, just that of taking your own ideas, taking action on them, doing what you want to do, and not listening to anyone else. Now, the Six of Cups to, has different meanings to me. I don't find that it means necessarily someone coming back from the past, but I feel that it can mean an idea that you had that you maybe you put away. Maybe you wanted to do this and you decided not to, to act on it. Um, maybe you wanted to write a book or start a blog and you have never acted on it. Or this can be something from your childhood that you were really good at that you didn't pursue. Maybe other people said, you know, you knew you wanted to pursue photography and other people said, no, you need to go to college and get a business degree or something else. So you're deciding to move forward with something either that you put away maybe in the past or could be someone from the past, this King of Wands, or someone you know. It doesn't have to be from childhood. It doesn't have to be long ago. It could just represent someone that you know. It can be a King of Wands. Um, does, does it doesn't need to be, though. It doesn't need to be a fire sign because I read this card as just someone who is warm and inviting, can be helpful. Someone around you right now who'd be willing to maybe lend you a hand or give you some advice or is approachable. I'm trying to feel that's your own energy. I mean, it, it could be your energy because this is what's around you. And I find in this position, it can definitely be another person around you. It can be just the energy in the universe kind of around. It can be your own energy, I found, um, just kind of what you're putting out there. But it feels more like help. It does. It feels like some type of help from a person, someone at work, a family member, a friend, um, anyone, anything like that. Maybe even someone online. I'm getting there could be some help online. Someone who's written a book or has already put out some information, something that would be helpful to you. And what you're hoping for, of course, is a payoff. You're hoping for money to come in. Um, maybe you know that this new business venture, this new idea will take a little time to start creating cash, but that's okay because you know the Knight of Coin can be a slower energy. It's about strategizing, thinking things through, having a plan of action, and moving. And you may not be doing fast movement. This may be a slow buildup, but that's okay too. You're, that's in your hopes. And that's good. That's positive, good energy that you're thinking about. And again, with the Wheel of Fortune being underneath, that's just saying, yes, things are moving forward. So as you can, to me, this whole reading is about a new idea and moving it forward. And it feels definitely like a good idea. So if you have something and you're not sure, you're thinking, you know, you're kind of teetering on the edge. You don't really... You know, we always worry, well, if I put all my time into this or I invest so much time or money or, you know, is it going to pay off? And a lot of times we think, well, sometimes that, that's not going to work. So why even bother? And sometimes that's what doesn't cause us to move forward. But I feel this almost a sense of excitement, a little bit of frustration with the death card. Like I'm tired of waiting. I'm going to make my own path. Maybe some of you are waiting for a job and, and you've been applying and you just can't seem to get a job. And so you said, heck with it. I'm going to take my own path. I'm going to move forward and do something else on my own and do something creative. 
this can also mean the Six of Cups. I do read this as a warm, like a family energy. Um, it doesn't have to have children, of course, but it, it's to me, it's always also represented your family, your close-knit group of friends or who you associate with. Uh, but it, and it, it's just a, a warmth I get from the card, a happiness, a joy, a, just like a gentle feeling from this card. So it can be um, that for some of you, you are, you know, within the family unit, you want to create um, more stability or more. It's like you're, you really, you're, you're caring for your family or your friends or even yourself, but just that you want to create that, um, stability or income or that's kind of the feeling I'm also getting off this card too for some of you there's this um sense of wanting to provide even though that's not even you know that's not really the the representation of this card for some of you that is there's this feeling of wanting to help your family or take care of them um for some of you this has to do with nature and being uh, I don't want to say outdoors, but it could be. But there's there's another feeling too for some of you. There's an idea we've all, around nature or outdoors or I'm not sure what that is. I'm feeling, but off that card. But this again, I feel like you definitely want some stability in your life with the two sixes here. And sixes are about um, um, good, you know, good coming in, compassion, kindness helping one another. Maybe you have a partner who's also, you know, you want to help them. You have the six of wands too. So you have a lot of sixes. So very nice. Sixes are always very good. So you may at first feel like this isn't the best idea. Maybe it's unstable or unstable. There's instability. That's what I was trying to say. But no, it's a, it's looks like a very good idea or project. I will clarify and again, I think with this new change, this new idea with death and transition being in the center of the reading, this is going to be a new chapter, a new beginning for you. Um, for some of you, you may be moving. It may be a very, and of course, I don't have the tower, so it's not bad. But some of you with some of these movement cards could be actually moving to a different city, maybe getting out of the city into nature. Could be for some of you, you want to get out of the hectic grind, the city vibe, and you want to go somewhere that's quieter for your family. And um, that may be what I'm picking up, kind of a more of a nature scene. And it makes you very happy. So it could be a move for money, obviously, too, with the Page of Wands. And you are going to move forward with this. And there could be people who are, are not happy with you moving, only because maybe, you know, they're going to miss you, I feel. But definitely some movement in this reading some good beginnings some movement moving forward all right and it makes you very happy nine of cups and you're going to feel proud of yourself that six of wands are you just you're going to know that you did the right thing all right let me clarify the six of cups here no more burdens okay i am holding my deck upside down but he did come out he did come out that way. Um, for some of you, you do. You feel very burdened. There's a lot of work involved. You're tired. And or the tens are also the end of a cycle. And they're beginnings of new. So it could be, I pulled one upside down. Either way, it feels like the, this is the beginning of something new. You're moving forward. you planting seeds. Because in this deck, it shows I'm planting a seed. You have planted, I feel like this is in the past. Either the idea was planted because you were just too burdened by too much debt or too much work or whatever you're doing just wasn't working. So you decided to change. Just pick up and kind of move and change and new ideas. And you want, I feel like it was just too hectic or too chaotic in, in your life. It was too, um, maybe too much fighting. Because you do have the five of wands and it's bickering, but I don't, I think you're just tired of that. You want a more peaceful life is what I'm getting. You want things to be easier. You're tired of the stress. And so you're definitely going to 
you're going to get that with the six the six of cups here and the six of coin coming in. Some of you definitely will be getting a job offer, um, and things will be moving forward because of that. And like I said, I feel like there is going to be obviously someone, and it could be this King of Wands. For some of you, he won't be helpful. For some of you, he may be the one causing the conflict around you because the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands is, you know, Seven of Wands is defending yourself, defending, you know, your beliefs, what you're doing. The Five of Wands is traditionally, you know, different ideas, competition, mild bickering. People have different points of view. So that also definitely, I mean, you, I feel like you're just tired of it. So you are going to, though, pick up and do something new and change. Um, it's definitely, if it is a new job coming in, the Ace of Coin, it's a new beginning, and it is going to change that. It is going to change your living circumstances, your life. Because you, have, of course, have two, you know, two beautiful aces. So that is our new beginnings. And I know that these have been kind of coming and going in a lot of the readings. New beginnings are definitely flowing in. And I feel like for some people, like I had mentioned, it's it's not, it's taking longer for some people than others. But hang in there and don't give up because this has been a very hectic year as far as I can tell. A lot going on. And I feel like there's been a lot of challenges and a lot of, um, I'll call them lessons, just things that we've had to seem to go through to get to the good. And I feel like they could, could be this year in. It could also be going into the first, you know, 2017. Um, but new starts, new beginnings. Okay, so what is this Six of Coin? Six of Coin, please. Knight of Cups. So yeah, whatever's going to come in will definitely... Be good. Knight of Cups is about um, anything that makes you happy, emotion, emotional. It's usually every my nights as an energy. So this will be if it's a job or it's work, money. It is going to balance out your relationship and it is going to cause more harmony. I feel with the Knight of Cups here, um, and this can kind of represent the energy of this newness coming in. Also with the Nine of Cups here, because it does. You're going to be very happy. So for some of you, this will cause more balance in your relationship, in your life. I was reading here. For others of you, it will just it will be money, plain and simple, a new job coming in. And of course, any of this, anything will make you happier with this energy coming in. It'll just, you know, light you up and make you extremely happy. And it's another moving forward energy, the Knights. So let me pull from my other deck. I don't feel like I really need to clarify anything else. I could clarify your knight, your king of wands, but I feel like he is just someone around you. For some, he's going to be a help. For others, he is not going to be a help. He could be your partner. And and he, um, with the wand there, he could be helping. You know, wands are action, so he could be definitely been helping. Other ones, it's not that he is cold he's not being cold or mean he's just conflicting your ideas he wants the best for the family so i don't feel like overall he's a bad negative person at all if you are if he is you're having trouble with this one i feel like he's just kind of has different ideas of what should be done but listen to your own intuition listen to your own heart in this case now he can be someone from the past someone you already knew the Six of Cups coming back and to help because you are under a lot of stress and burden. So this Nine of Cups, of course, can be his energy coming in to help you, to help support you with the Six of Coin. Doesn't always have to be money. To me, in a love reading, I read this as a balanced relationship to people helping one another, give and take, give and receive. Um, so this, of course, can be someone from your past coming in to help, to give you some type of support. Um, it can also be... A message, the Page of Wands could also be a message from this person. This could have been who contacted you. So I just know that for, for in a general reading, it's going to mean different things to different people. And this doesn't have to be romantic in nature for some of you, or for many of you. It's just that feeling of thank you, you know, gratitude. Um, you know, I'm here to help you. And it doesn't have to be love or romance whatsoever. It's just represented by that card as um, kindness, help, support along that line. 
And it can be definitely someone admiring you or your work and appreciating you also, or you appreciating them. I could feel the energy go either way. So if it is work related and they say, Hey, we really want you to come work for us. Um, you know, it's, it's almost like an offering come work for us also and not necessarily romance. All right. Let me pull a card for the King of Wands. Just, we can clarify him. Empress abundance. Um, so the Empress can obviously represent you. So if this is, so you're, you're abundant right now. You're, you know, attracting a lot of attention for some of you. This is, can be romantic in nature, but again, I don't feel like this is really a love reading. It feels more like, and notice how he's kind of eyeing her. So this can be him eyeing you, your mate. Um, you're abundant. You have this great idea. To me, this is a beautiful card of saying, definitely follow your intuition and your guides and what you're doing. Move forward. This can also represent just an energy of this person being very um, helpful, abundant. Maybe he does have money and he is going to help or he does have, um, he has an abundance of ideas or support or help or something around him. So for some of you, this is your mate though. And he is around you, helping you. And again, maybe there is some bickering. For others of you, it's an energy of um, his energy. That's very helpful, Empress, very kind. Um, of course, for some of you, I mean, I, of course, I can read this that definitely as a pregnancy card. That's probably very few. I don't like to read it that way because I know majority of people aren't pregnant or trying to get pregnant. But of course, that could be your mate. This would represent the family home. It's like I, I get the warmth off. I do get children and warmth and, um, in this card. Death would definitely, that'd be a very change in, to anyone's life. The new baby, you know, finding out, um, you're very happy. There could be some type of maybe someone didn't want to have another child or maybe someone's saying, you know, you shouldn't have a child or you're too old or whatever, but you know, you're very happy and it's a new beginning. So could of course read it like that for a few, but I know for the most part, this feels more like a, um, some type of creative idea, something that you've always wanted to do and you're going to move forward with and, um, tell other people to back off. And this could for some of you also be a change in just how you act and react to people. Cause some people may be saying, you know, this isn't a good idea. You shouldn't do this. Maybe in the past, you shied away or you backed down or you've gone along with it and you thought you're they're right. This isn't a good idea. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this. But now you, you with the seven of wands, you are pushing them off. You're backing them off. You're telling them, go away. I'm not going to listen to you. This is a change for you. It's something new. Um, but it makes you very happy. So it's, it's good either way. However you read, read this in your life. So just know luck is on your side. I know there's probably no, no thing as luck. It's, you know, but I, I like to just say that fortunes on your side. It's rolling forward. Keep going with your idea. It's a good idea. It's a good outcome. Don't second guess yourself and don't, um, don't back down, jump in your boat and move forward, walk forward, keep going. I'm going to pull from messages from your angels. We'll see how this message goes, how this one fits with the reading. All right, Cancer for this reading. It's for Cancer. Okay, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So when I get this card, usually I am, I'm in the midst of trying to figure out what to do next, trying to figure out what the best course of action would be. So for many of you, you, I think have either don't, I don't want to say you don't know about this idea because I feel like you have this idea or you have a couple ideas or you don't know how to move forward. Or when you see this reading, you'll be like, 
yeah, I'm ready to go, but I don't know that what to do. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know quite exactly what to do. And this is saying some of you are indecisive. And that's where I get possibly the five of wands, you know, not knowing, having an, well, because the five of wands is having, it could be because of your own mind. There doesn't have to be other people bickering with you and having different ideas. Five of wands is about, can have several different ideas in your mind. You're going back and forth. You don't know which one to do. You don't know which one to take. So if that is the, the problem, um, do more research, it says. You don't have enough information. You may need expert advice, which I feel like is this man here around you. There's someone around you who you can ask. He has an abundance of knowledge. And the empress can represent that. So he may have some help for you. It may be someone from your past. But um, it says, do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So I definitely feel like you have a, you know, a decision to make. You have a good idea. Maybe you don't know how to quite put all the pieces together or you're not quite sure um, the path to take or how to get there. Um, so definitely, though, don't give up on your idea or yourself or anything like that. Take Go forward with, with um, whatever it is you're doing because you do have a, a big change coming with transition there in the center and it's good all right i'm also going to pull from the enchanted map deck for you guys see what your message is i feel like these ones have been really um accurate all right what is the message for cancer for this reading cancer for this reading what is the message Cancer. No, it's not it. Cancer. Yeah, all right. Storm fields. Okay, there's an uncomfortable chaos surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may cause some conflict, may be the cause of some conflict. Pent-up energy needs release just as a storm in nature must break. For these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stir things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Remember that whatever is being stirred up inside of you can be between you and someone else will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up. So I know that this card on the surface storm fields may seem negative, but it's not because it's saying kind of goes along with this one too, because it feels this must be what's going to come before this transition and this new idea. Because this person, like I said, for some of you, may be a source of conflict that needs to be cleared up. And this can represent you. Again, and that's where I think I'm getting the five of wands and the seven of wands. There is definitely some conflict around you. Things need to be shaken up. You need to like get help or research even take some quiet time to yourself. I, I could say meditate. I don't, you know, some people don't meditate. It's, but just take some quiet time to think things through, write things down. But there's definitely, looks like there's going to be a conflict that is going to come to the surface because of, of this new change of what you're going to do moving forward. But it's okay. Because I feel like this person, again, he came up as a king of wands. And I feel like it's, it's, he's not a, a get out against you. He's not going to, um, he's not the king of swords or the emperor. It's more of an energy of he wants, for some he wants the best. Others he, he may be a little more controlling if that's the person you're dealing with. And again, it doesn't have to be a partner. It can be just someone in your family or in your life. But it looks like you're moving forward. You may be confused right now when you see this reading. You may not know exactly what steps to take. But there's something to me that's inside of you that is stemming from you know old burdens old problems and you want more peace and calm 
and you're going to have to shake things up and you probably don't want to, but you need to, um, see, and this could also be you talking to this person and maybe that you're in a confused, indecisive also, because you need to communicate with this person and there is going to be a slight storm or blow up, or there's an idea that you have, um, to move forward. So it may be that you don't have enough information from someone around you also, for some of you. Others of you, it is research online, research, figuring out how to move forward, maybe talking to a counselor at school. But you definitely have a change coming here, something new coming in. And whether you initiate it and move forward because you're just tired of waiting, you're tired of, um, you know, tired of things not happening, you're going to initiate some changes, it's going to turn out good. All right, so don't let, you know, the storm fields worry you. I feel like you need to push past a barrier to get to what you want. For some of you, it's not going to be that big of a deal. You have the Wheel of Fortune on your side right now, so you are going to change. And, I'm, and a general reading is going to be for different people. For some of you, it's growth. It's good changing, stepping out of your comfort zone. For others of you, it's just saying to your partner or your parents or someone you work with that, hey, I'm making changes, I'm moving on, I'm doing something differently. And yes, it might cause us disruption, but in the end, you're going to be fine. You're going to be happy. You're going to move forward, okay? You're going to feel good about yourself and that you stood up for yourself because that's what, to me, the Six of Wands is something that you do personally that you feel good about. And it is going to be a new beginning as you move forward. So I hope this reading is helpful and made sense. Um, have a great week, you guys, and take care.